Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film a full day of eating. I just got done with my six week shred, which is a program I created. Um, it's available for sale on my website. I had really great results. Uh, it's a hit style workout plan um, with a meal plan. Uh, there's recipes on there, there's lots of good things, but I'm gonna be transitioning into a higher fat diet. I've been wanting to try this. Um, I went on the whole bulletproof coffee kick at one point and I really liked the way that my body responded to it, but I was doing more so just low carb than high fat at the time. So a six week tread program, highly recommend. It's, I will link it below, but I really want to try a high fat diet just to see how my body responds. First thing that I'm gonna have this morning is, it's not necessarily Bulletproof Coffee because I think Bulletproof Coffee is technically the uh, coffee with MCT oil and ghee or like it, it's super high fat, but I just do, every morning I do coffee with collagen. So I get um, protein out of this. I only do one scoop instead of the full serving of two scoops because I'll put another scoop usually in my smoothie. Um, and then inulin fiber is so important to have in your diet. And then the MCT oil, and then I'll do a little bit of creamer. So I'll show you guys how I make that. Okay, so of course we ran out of creamer this morning. So I'm just gonna use um, just a little bit of almond milk. And I just kind of eyeball it in the bottom of my cup. And then I put in the MCT. A full serving is a whole tablespoon, but when you start using this stuff, you do not want to use a whole tablespoon because it's really hard on your stomach. So, well, at first, it's hard on your stomach. Um, so yeah, I just do, I started with a teaspoon. Oh, my hair got in the creamer. I start with a teaspoon, but I'm working my way up, so I'm doing two teaspoons right now. And then I put my coffee in. This is a huge cup, so I'm not gonna fill it up the whole way. And then I do one scoop of collagen. And then I get this inulin off of, oh, I'm breaking this. Sealed, but I get this off of Amazon. I'll link this below. It doesn't taste like anything, and you can put it in water and it dissolves clear basically. And then it usually is kind of a mess in here, so you should use a frother because the powders don't always mesh initially with the oil. And then that's it. I drink this usually first things first when I wake up. I drink a whole one of these um, and then I usually like take the dog on a walk, do something outside and then I drink this and then when I'm done with that around like nine o'clock, I'll make my smoothie. I'll show you guys how I make that. Okay, so I drank my smoothie and totally forgot to show you guys and now it's almost one o'clock so I'm gonna eat my lunch but I wanna show you guys how I make my smoothie. It is a high fat smoothie, like this is not low calorie, but this is my entire breakfast. And I make sure I get in protein with it and then some good fats. Um, I'll show you guys what I put in it. Okay, so I use, sorry, it's a mess in here. Um, so I use full fat coconut milk. This is organic from Whole Foods. I think you can also order it online. It is very thick. It's basically solidified in this can. So when you open it, you have to like stir it up to get it mixed up. And there honestly might not be a lot of liquid in it, but I put that in there and then if it's too thick, I'll just add water. Um, and then I do a tablespoon or two of almond butter. Why is this not focusing? And then this is spirulina. So this is my greens, I would say. Um, this is like basically the same thing as putting kale in there but I sometimes will put like kale or spinach, um, chia seeds for fiber, and then protein. I have a discount code for one up that I will leave in the description, but this is hands down my favorite protein, coconut ice cream. It is so good, and that's it. 
it's pretty easy it comes out really thick because of the coconut milk but you can add water to make it more liquidy so yeah that's it for my smoothie it is definitely calorie dense i'll put it into my fitness pal in a minute and look at how much it is but i'm on a high fat diet right or i'm trying a high fat diet right now and um i will say for my summer shred it was higher in protein than anything else just because when you're wanting to shred fat and tone up the whole point is to maintain muscle which the most important macronutrient for that is protein so um yeah but i'm interested to see how this high fat diet goes so i will definitely keep y'all updated on that i am about to throw my salad together for lunch um yeah so i'm doing a cob salad um, I'm going to put hard-boiled egg, tomato, bacon, which I totally forgot to make. Um, avocado, tomato, bacon, hard-boiled egg. And then I have this balsamic dressing from Sir Kensington's that I'm going to try out. And yeah, I'll put it together and I will show you guys. Okay, so I'm about to chop up. I usually buy green leaf lettuce. I like this the best, better than romaine. I just baked this bacon so it would be crispy and I can crumble it up and then yeah I already showed you guys the dressing it's Sir Kensington's Dijon balsamic and then I'm gonna put these eggs in there and I'm gonna cut up some tomatoes okay so here is the finished product I made a mess does anyone else think that the black parts actually taste bad someone told me I was crazy but I think that they actually taste bad, so I like had to pick them out. But yeah, this is gonna be super good. I'm excited. Might be a new go-to salad recipe. I mean, obviously a chicken cob, but with this dressing, and I also usually never like actually make bacon at home. I used to, when I went to work uptown, I would get a cob salad from Crunch Bistro like almost every day. So good. So I'm trying to recreate it at home here, but. Hopefully this is good. Oh, I need to put chicken on there, duh. Okay, so here it is with chicken. Wes grilled this chicken this morning. He seasoned it just with garlic, pepper, salt, onion, and Cajun seasoning. And then I just cut it up and throw it on the salad. I usually try to structure carbs around my meals, but I usually work out in the mid morning. So that's why I was doing oatmeal in the morning. So that was um like before my workout but we'll see how this goes um i may start working out in the afternoon if i'm doing carbs for dinner i really just try to structure them more so around before and after my meals um since i will be doing such low carb it's best that i have them around those workouts but yeah talk to you guys at dinner also i do not like i do not snack throughout the day i used to like at the beginning of quarantine, I was at home, but I never really snack anymore. We just don't keep them in the house and keep me from eating them. I just don't really get hungry in between my meals anymore. The only time I ever really get like hungry is after dinner and I'll have a protein shake that's like sweet and satisfying as far as a dessert. But yeah, see you guys at dinner. Okay, so forgot to film my dinner last night and forgive my appearance. I ran and just worked. I ran this morning and then just worked out and now it's two o'clock and I need to eat lunch. So I'm having leftovers and Wes put rice in this, but this is not how I would typically eat this because I usually eat lower carb. Um, It's so good. I'm going to pop a picture up here of what it actually looked like. This looks terrible right now, and he put rice in here. Um, but I'm actually about to, we have leftover green beans, so I'm about to cook these, and then add this to that. Just basically, sorry, the dog is outside. The door is open. Um, so, it's basically like um, a one sheet, I always call them a sheet, a sheet pan recipe, or like a one sheet, Whatever, it was so easy. And this is probably gonna be like a go-to for us from now on. It's just red potatoes, uh, kibasi, but any kind of sausage would work, and then green beans. And it is so bomb. So I'll put the recipe in the description below. It's also saved to my food highlight on my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram, I always post my food. That's what a full day of eating 
looks like for me lately. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll do another one soon because I'm always changing up what I'm eating. Um, but I usually stick to, or I've been sticking to, um, higher fat, moderate protein, and then lower carb. Like I said, I never really eat below 100 grams of carbs a day. I'm not aiming for keto or anything like that. Um, I just feel so much better when I eat like higher fat, like more olive oil, almond butter, ghee, avocados, all that good stuff. And if you guys have any questions about what I ate or what I made, leave them below and I will see you guys in the next one.